Hello, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. So today um, we, we did the star sign um, zodiac, all signs, general readings a couple weeks ago, and now we're going to do the lunar sign, um, all signs, zodiac readings. So I've got some selenite for the lunar and then to balance it out because I didn't have four selenite, I've got like Anyway, that's not important. So let's get started. So think of your star sign and if you know your star sign, then you can click the star sign that it's not star sign. If you know your lunar sign, your lunar year, uh, go down to the uh, description and click the, the timestamp for your lunar sign. So you can go right to the reading. If you don't know your lunar sign, it's easy to look up online. You can just type in what year you were and what month you were and you know what your lunar sign is. So let's get started. So the first um, lunar sign I'm reading is for the rat. Uh, again, these are general readings and they are going to be uh, whenever you come to this video, whenever you find this video, then that's when, when this reading is for. Ingvaz doesn't want to sit upright, but that's okay. <laughs> it's Ingvaz's prerogative to not sit upright. So welcome Year of the Rat people. So your central issue here for Year of the Rat is we have Yira. Yira is the uh, rune of the harvest. It has to do with also time, um, how much time has passed and how much time is there left. So your focus at this point is basically not only on what you're bringing into the world, but on how much time has already passed and how little time it may, may or may not be left or how much. Um, what led up to this is we've sort of had some negative emotions recently. Um, we have Lagus, the rune of heart, um, emotion and intuition. It is reversed and it's on the path line. So I'm going to read this as either, either, either or, um, either or and and, um, possibly negative emotions. Maybe you've actually gotten deeply in touch with your emotions recently and you're dealing with these, or you are sort of your heart's been not been in something perhaps and that's actually led to your thinking of, about you know what have I brought forth what's you know my harvest and you know how much time is there how much time have I possibly wasted or how much time ha has passed already what helps here is we have manas manas is the rune of humanity and it's basically saying get yourself I mean, I know we're still in, in a pandemic, so obviously you're not going to get out there in person in person, but get out there, feel your place in the world, uh, greet others with joy, basically meet other people who are like you and and uh, basically be a part of that and, and you'll feel more like you belong. Get, you know, get in touch with your belonging. What won't help is we have Ingvaz. Ingvaz, who doesn't want to sit up straight today, <laughs> is the rune of, uh, it's Ing's rune. Ing is another name for Frey. Frey is the fertility god. And it has to do with active creation. So you're going to be tempted to force things, to like force the harvest. And the harvest is like a naturally growing thing. So you can't actually make a harvest happen any faster than it's going to naturally. So if that starts to be the case, get out, um, even if it's virtually, get out and and, and get among people and, and just sort of feel your place in terms of where you are harmonic. And that will actually help you move forward. And what this will lead to is, I'm going to read this two ways. We have uh, Rytho reversed. Um, Rytho is the journey rune. So reversed, it either has to do with turning your journey inward or el else ending a journey that you were on um, or bringing it to an end. So maybe your journey was, your heart wasn't in it. You get out there and, and meet other people and, and, and feel more harmonic with the rest of humanity you're going to end that feeling of your heart not being in it and you're going to be able to come back to uh, working on your harvest. And that is your reading, my Year of the Rat people. I will see you next time. So the next um, lunar sign I am reading is the ox. So let's see for the ox people what our reading is, our general reading for the Year of the Ox people. I'm going to throw down a few five runes and we're going to it's a splash reading. It's a splash reading. Back in the day when I was doing readings in public, <laughs> this, this was called a splash reading because it's five. It's just like, blah. <laughs> so ox people, your central issue is um, Fehu. Fehu is the rune of wealth and worth. It's cattle, which is appropriate because it's ox. Um, so you're sort of concerned about your 
wealth and your sense of worth. Leading up to this, you've been working really, really hard. We have Ingvaz. Ingvaz Ing is the rune of um, Ingvaz is the rune of Ing. Ing is another name for Frey. Frey is the fertility god, and it has to do with active creation. So you've been really, really busy shaping things and working on things, and now you're like, okay, looking about, looking at your your feelings of worth. Am I worthy? Um, yes, you are, obviously, and I'm not going to even see that. I'm, I'm not even going to say, like, that's not even there. That's like, yes, automatically, you are here, you are worthy, um, wherever you are. And what helps here, we have Tivas. Tivas is the rune of Tyr. Tyr is the, is the warrior god. Just get out there, you know, get, you know, tend your duties and responsibilities, because that's another big thing for Tyr. But also, you know, pick up and go, pick up and, and drive out there and, and be, you know, do what you do. And that's actually what's going to help you, and it's what, what, where you're going to find the most resonance for your feelings of wealth and worth. And this isn't necessarily money, because what the Fehu has to do with the wealth that the Fehu has to do with is cattle. So it's the wealth that you tend. So that's the kind of it's it's sort of living wealth. So what gives you your worth in your life, your feelings of worth? You're just going to be going out there and tending your duties and responsibilities and making sure that you continue to feel that that feeds into it. So what doesn't help is we have Nauthis, the rune of need. It is reversed and it's on the lower line. So you're going to be worried about, I mean, this is kind of like, this is actually funny because the upper line and the lower line are generally opposites and they are the antidote to each other. So if you want to be miserable, you can do the lower line and that will ruin the upper line. But if you want to fix the lower line, what isn't helping you, you can do the upper line and that will actually save things. And why I was saying that this was actually funny is that um, the, this rune here, uh, Nauthis is the rune of need. And it says basically, you know, you're going to worry about your needs. You're going to be concerned about, you know, that what needs you have. And the antidote is tend your needs. We have <laughs> we have uh, tivas, which is all about duty and responsibility. So if you start to worry about things, it's like, all right, just take care of them. You know, th there you go. It's like the solution to, you know, my my kitchen is stinky. Is do your freaking dishes. So <laughs> so. So anyway, um, that's what's going to help you the most is just, you know, pick up, get out there, do like even if out there is in there because we're still in a pandemic and just, you know, tend your duties and responsibilities as well as, you know, driving forward with what you, what gives you the feelings of wealth and worth. And what this will lead to is we have Hagalaz. Now, a lot of people see Hagalaz as a negative rune. It's not. There are no negative runes. Hagalaz is the hailstorm rune. It has to do with chaos and the uncontrolled uncontrollables, but also has to do with natural energies and natural forces. And what this is saying is, you know, right now you're concerned with your feelings of wealth and worth. Get out there and, and do things. Um, drive forward, do your thing, and you're you're going to be sort of stepping into, you know, it's going to be fairly chaotic. I mean, obviously, a lot of a lot of us now, right now, when I'm recording this, not necessarily when you find it, but for an example, a lot of us right now are in a situation where we're just on the cusp or, or are already on the situation where we are able to get back out into the world because we've been vaccinated. And this is like, it's it's a lot more chaotic out there than it is in the home. So that kind of thing. But you're you're actually because you're gonna have a good strong grasp and you will have your sword in hand from driving forward, not a literal sword, I hope, you will be able to step into this chaos and, and sort of embrace it as a step on your path. So that is your reading, you're the ox people. I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. So the next sign I am going to be reading is for the tigers. Hello, you're the tiger people. So let's see what the runes have to say for you. Again, this is a general reading for whenever you find this video. And it's for the lunar signs, of course, which I've just said, so that was redundant, but that's okay. So your central issue, um, tiger people, is we have Lagos reversed. Now Lagos is the rune of heart and intuition and emotion and all that watery stuff. It is reversed, so it's sort of you're concerned, maybe your heart isn't in things that you want to, maybe your dreams are um, being a thing right now. Uh, you're, you're sort of haunted by your dreams, um, maybe you're experiencing negative emotions. What has led up to this is we have Isa. Isa is the rune of ice and it has to do with uh, things frozen, things at a standstill, uh, sometimes clarity, uh, so there can, can have been some clarity at that point. What's interesting here is this is ice, this is water, so your, your sort of situation of standstill has now melted and your things are being revealed that had maybe been bound up in here, and so maybe you're experiencing some emotions that maybe you didn't 
particularly enjoy, um, but that had been bound up until this point, and at least now you can deal with them. So what helps at this point is we have Nauthes. Nauthes is the rune of need, and it's upright, so it's basically your your needs. Um, the best thing to do in this point is just tend your needs. You feel what you need to deal with, and you can just basically tend them. Um, that's going to help you the most. What doesn't help is we have Rai, though. Rai, though, is the journey rune. You don't want to go right from unfreezing into just driving forward into your life, um, <laughs> onto your life path. You know, it's like, yeah, but I was going to get on with things. It's like, well, first, before you get on with things, you have to deal with things. And one of the things you have to deal with is tending your needs. And that's what's going to help you the most at this point. So your next step on the path is going to be, we have uh, Peritho the Reverse. Peritho is the rune of surprise, uh, fate. It's the lot box. So it's what's in your path. It's something that was already there. And what I see as it being reversed on your path line is you're going to find out things about yourself that you didn't necessarily know before. It, things that were always there for you, that they were always there as a part of you. But it's basically, it's a surprise and it's something that you're dealing with because of the work that you did going through this. Uh, whether you did it by actually tending your needs or whether you did it by worrying about getting on with things, either way you're going to learn <laughs> things about yourself that you didn't know. Some, perhaps something that isn't as pleasant as you wanted it to be. I mean, you're coming right from some negative emotions, but at least it's something that is yours. And you are going to be capable to deal with it because you just carry this forward. Just tend your needs wherever you are on this path. So that is your general reading, my tiger people. And I will see you again next time. Bye. Hello, hair people. So we're reading for the hair or the rabbit or the cat. Some people use the cat for the lunar year. I'm going to throw down five runes, a little splash reading, general reading for the hair. Let's get all those down. These runes are round and relatively wiggly, but I have worse for that. <laughs> not worse. I have more more rounded and wiggly. Anyway, but these are not as, and that's, that's beside the point. So, hair people. Um, our central issue is actually Vunyo. Vunyo is the rune of joy. And so you're either feeling pretty good right now in terms of okay, you're feeling pretty happy, or you're sort of concerned about joy. Your, your concerns are about finding your joy. What led up to this is you've just come through a really, 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 really difficult challenge. We have three Zaz, it is reversed. Um, so you just like, against all th thoughts of being able to do so, <laughs> because it, sometimes you doubted coming through this because it was such a hard challenge but you have come through it and you're happier now than you were but now you're like okay well how do i stay happy <laughs> so what helps here is we have algies algies is the run of the elk um has to do with support and protection elk basically in, in north america we refer that to to that animal as a moose so it's basically you have a good support uh staff system <laughs> around you. You've got uh, family and friends, you've got a good environment for you, and you actually are are supported, you are protected. So that's going to help you the most at this stage where you're like, okay, I'm happier than I was when I was going through this incredibly difficult challenge, and I have the system in place that will be able to keep me happy. What doesn't help is this was so hard and you are feeling like not as strong as you would like to, or you're worried that you won't have the strength to go forward with any, if you meet anything like this again, you're like, man, after what I've been through, <laughs> you just feel like you've been knocked off your feet. And there's this sense of, you know, am I strong enough to go on with this? Because this, I maybe, you know, I would, maybe I should not go on because it's just like, maybe I should just stay where I am. But it's, if this starts to drag you down, because I see this more as a fear of than... The actual situation. I mean, maybe you've been a bit wiped out and maybe you're going to want to sit for a minute and breathe, but just remind yourself that you are supported and you are protected and you don't really need to worry about having enough strength because you had enough strength to get through this. Um, I'm sure it will be there for you whenever you want to, especially since you have the support staff. It's, uh, support staff. You might have support staff, but it's more of an external um, thing. Like you just have, just in, in general, groundedness and, and you know, you're protected. So you're going to be able to pursue this happiness that you are focusing on. And what this leads to is we have what you were worried about that you wouldn't be able to have a moment of standstill. We have Isa. Isa is the rune of ice and standstill. And you can basically 
take that moment, take that break and, and be still for a bit. Some clarity will come from it. So that is actually a really good thing. So there you are, hair people. I will see you again next time. Bye. The next sign I am going to be reading is the dragon people. Or the dragon people. <laughs> Hello dragons. I'm just going to lay down five runes to set the stage. That's interesting. I've seen that rune a few times in the other lunar readings. Today. There we go. It's a little splash reading. Again, this is a general reading for whenever you find this video. So our central issue here, we have Laguz reversed. Laguz is the rune of water, it's lake. It has to do with uh, emotion, intuition, and heart. It sometimes also has to do with uh, dream if it's reversed. So you have come from a situation where uh, you maybe haven't felt as supported as you wanted to. We have Algis reversed. Algis is the rune of uh, the elk and it's reversed. So the elk has to do with uh, support and protection and it is reversed on the path line. So I see this as maybe you haven't felt as supported as you would like to have. Maybe you haven't felt as protected as you would have liked, but you have been standing up on your own very strongly. So you've come through this very much, you know, supporting yourself. And you are now at this point where you're like, man, you know, you're, maybe you're not feeling as happy as you'd like to. Maybe you're dealing with some unpleasant emotions and maybe you just have, you know, dreams that are, are either guiding or haunting you. And that's where you are now. So what helps is we have Yira. Yira is the rune of the harvest. And it has to do with uh, bringing you up the fruits of your labors, what you've been working on. But also with time, you know, concern, you know thinking about time, you know, how, how much time you've used, how much time is left. But I think in this particular context, I'm going to see this as, yes, you're in a situation where you maybe aren't feeling as good as you'd like to in terms of emotionally, but this too will pass. You know, this is a set amount of time. It's not permanent. It's something that's going to be, it's going to happen like weather, and then it's going to move on. So it's a season, basically. So, and also look to the fruits of your labors. What you have been working on and what you've done and what you've accomplished by supporting yourself has tangible proof. And you can actually look at that and go, okay, well, you know, I, I got myself this far. What doesn't help here is we have Isa. Isa is the rune of ice and standstill and stillness, sometimes clarity, but it's in the lower line. So I'm gonna see this as not moving right now, like not moving forward and worrying about that you're stuck Okay, that's actually mostly what it is. You're worried that it's like, I've said this before, you know, if you're living in the moment, which is commendable, the problem is when you're going through something that's difficult is that if you're living in the moment, it feels like it's going to be that way forever. You're, it's like this permanent thing. It's not. So if you feel like where you're at now, where you're sort of feeling uncomfortable emotionally, just remind yourself that this is not a permanent thing. You're not stuck in this, even if you feel like you are everything has seasons and everything changes, change is the one constant. So move forward and you are literally one step away from accessing your source energy. We have Silvilo, the sun. You are like one step away from the sun. Raining here, sunny here. I'm not necessarily raining, it's the, it's the lake. But anyway, <laughs> you are really, really close to the sun shining again and feeling like um, you have access to your source energy once more. So that is your reading, dragon people. I hope you have a lovely day or evening and take care till next time. Bye. So the next sign I am going to be reading are the snake people, the serpent people. So I'm just going to throw down a little splash reading for the serpent people. Ooh. I am mixing these. You know, I'm getting a lot of the same runes for for all of these signs, they're sort of, I mean, we are getting some that I haven't seen, but it's, it's kind of neat. It shows sort of like, at the moment, the current status. So snake people, um, your central issue is shown by Yira. Yira is the rune of the harvest. It has to do, it basically literally year. And it has to do with the fruits of your labors, but it also has to do with time. Uh, it has to do with how much time has passed, how much time there may be left, and your concerns about it. What has led up to this is we have Kaunas and it's reversed. So Kaunas is the rune of expansion. It's the rune of fire, uh, something that starts small as an ember and, and expands into a blaze. Um, but it is reversed and it's on the path line. So it looks like your 
focus has narrowed recently. And it's really, really narrowed into either focus on what you can bring forth into the world um, with your harvest or, and, and or, um, how much time there has been that has passed and how much time there may be left. So that's basically your focus at the moment, snake people. So what will help is we have manas. Manas is the rune of humanity and one's harmony in it, like one's place in humanity, like where one feels one is in one's right place. Not like your place, but like, but like the, where one feels one is in the good, in a good place in humanity, your harmonic place, where you can face others with joy. And that's actually what's going to help you sort of remind yourself, remind yourself that, you know, where, how you, you are, how you are where you are when you feel best and when you are facing others with joy. But also, you know, get out there virtually if you're still being, if you're still in quarantine, if you're still worried about getting out in the pandemic, otherwise, you know, get out among people and whether virtually or really in people, because maybe you're looking at this years from when I'm filming this and, <laughs> and there's no more pandemic, which would be wonderful. Oh, that would be a wonderful day. Anyway, <laughs> but that's basically what's going to help you at this point. You know, you're worried about your output. You're worried about how much time, so much you've already done in the world, so much you've already brought to the world and you already are singing and have been singing your tone into the world and it is good. And so remind yourself of that. What doesn't help is we have Avas. Avas is the horse rune. It has to do with movement, also spirit. Mostly I'm going to see this as movement, though you feel like you're worried about, you know, that you want to really get going, you know, you, you, it's like if you've left something to the last minute, like a school project, and you just really just want to rush and push and, and get everything done, that's actually not going to help you because it's your life. So <laughs> you don't want to get like everything done right away and, you know, eat, eat all the cake and <laughs> everything. You don't want to rush around and because that's actually going to destroy your peace. So just, you know, if that's, if you start to feel driven to do that, just sort of like be a little more zen and get out there, whether virtually or physically, get out there and be among people like you and harmonic people and sort of feel, you know, that you're, you're a good place in the choir of humanity. And what this will lead to is you'll become very, very aware of what your needs are. Um, this is Nauthi's, it's the rune of need. It is reversed and it's on the path line. So after you get through this step of reminding yourself who you are <laughs> and who you are in the world is you're going to be become very aware of what you need the most and you're going to basically turn your attention on that and focus on that. So that, snake people, is your reading. So, so I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you again next time. Take care. Bye. Hello, horse people. So just going to throw down a little splash reading. Again, this is a general reading for whenever you come to it. on five runes that are your splash reading. That's interesting. Again, I'm seeing a lot of the same runes for like most, if not all of the signs, which is pretty neat. It's not like I'm not digging deep on this. <laughs> oh, there's one I haven't seen before <laughs> today. So horse people, your central issue here is shown by Nauthis. Nauthis reversed. Nauthis is the rune of need. It's the need fire. It's like the sticks that you rub together to make fire. And it's basically showing that right now in your life, horse people, you are really, really focused on what you need and really want to tend that. It's like, this is basically crying out to you. Maybe you've neglected it for a while and it, seem, it seems to be the case. I mean, I know horse people, you're very social people in general. So we, what led up to this is manas. And it looks like you were very, very much focused on everybody else. This is the rune of humanity and your place in it as well and you know who you are in the world. But you, you know, facing with people with joy and basically really, really focused on everybody around you, but maybe you haven't been focusing on yourself as much as you should and now is the time because you can't put it off anymore. So really you're focusing on your needs right now. What helps is we have kaunas. Kaunas is the rune of fire. It's the rune of expansion. Something that starts small, like a little ember, and expands out. And what this is basically saying will help you is, you know, while you're doing this, open up. You know, open up, open up to yourself. 
but also stay open because you're very social and this is going to help you tend your needs. Maybe you'll even get help tending your needs, but just basically open up and open up to other people even, just basically saying, oh, this is what I'm doing. You know, so, so don't think that this means turning away from all the people that you've been just enmeshed with. Just basically just open up and, and let things grow on each other, sort of like just let things expand naturally. What doesn't help is, again, you're worried about if I turn to myself to help myself, everything's going to like get shut out, it's going to be like a f frozen moment, everything's going to be still, like standstill for you know, f for in the, in the world around me and I can't stand it, don't worry about that because you're still keeping open, you know, you've spent all this time with people, you're not shutting people out, you're basically opening up and, and letting things continue to grow um, while you tend your needs because your needs do need to be tended. And what this will lead to is we have Dagas. Dagas is the rune of the dawn, the breaking of the day. And doing all of this, it's like this plus this equals this. <laughs> you, you have, you've tended your needs, you've melted the ice, such as it was if, if you were tempted by that, and you've just basically carried forward into a state where things are even brighter and better than they were when you were using all your energy the way that you want to, to help other people. Um, but by expanding while you're, by still expanding while you were tending your own needs, you've just made your world even brighter and more illuminated than it was before. So that, horse people, is your reading. I will see you again next time. Bye! So our next sign that we are reading are the sheep people, or goat people, however you're reading your, your lunar sign. It could be a sheep or a goat. So let's see what we have for the goat people. Sheep people. The sheep people. Or the goat people. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're lovely whoever you are. So I'm just throwing down a splash reading. It's five runes. Okay, so sheep people, your central issue is represented here by Ingvaz. Ingvaz is the rune of Ing. Ing is the another name for Frey, and Frey is the fertility god. And this has to do with active creation. It's also it sometimes has to do with your Yang identity, um, whether you're uh, whether you identify as male or female or non-binary. Um, your Yang identity is the identity that goes out and gets, like goes out and actively is active, <laughs> as opposed to your Yin identity that just lets things happen. So it's either way, it's you're active creating, you're actively creating, sort of you're focused on active creation, whether it's on actively creating something or on your identity as a Yang uh, being that is going out and doing things. The going out and doing identity. <laughs> now what led up to this is you've been through a lot of just chaos, chaotic times, it's like you've been in a storm, um, things have been just flying around here, and you really want to put order to this, which is why you're sort of focusing on your yang, <laughs> on your fray, um, ing, let's get things in order, let's, let's really get it in order. And really, you're really focused on that, because what helps you the most is tending all your needs, but extremely, because we have Nauthis. Nauthis is the rune of need, and it is reversed, and it's on the upper line, so just really... You, you've had enough of this chaos, um, sheep people. You just like, you're done with this chaos. So you are going to make your surroundings put in order and you are going to tend your needs and it's just going to be, you're going to do it. That's the thing that is your biggest focus. What doesn't help is we have Yira. First of all, it's been a heck of a year if you're watching it right as when I filmed it. <laughs> but whenever you see this, this is going to apply. Um, but also just basically you're worried about that if you're doing this it's going to hinder things that will naturally be coming up and and you're also worried about time you know how much time has passed and how little time you may have so that might drag you down but also you know normally I see this the opposite way normally I see don't arrest the growth of things let things grow. But in this case, when you let things grow, everything was going crazy. So at this point, this is a this is where the wave is going to go down into where, yeah, you want to put order to some of this. So you're worried about things getting out of control and you're also worried about time and how much time may have been wasted, how little time may be left. If that starts to be the case, you know, you're just, get yourself, throw yourself back into tending your needs because that's the key to um, getting things in order. And what this will lead to is we have Fehu reversed. Fehu is the rune of um, of, of wealth and worth, 
and it's reverse it has to do with confidence so this is actually going to build your self-esteem and confidence this whole endeavor and that sheep people or goat people is your reading so i hope you enjoyed it uh, take care till next time bye So the next sign I am going to be reading is the monkey bee monkey people. Hello monkey people. Year of the monkey people. <laughs> so I'm just gonna throw down a little splash reading. Um, it's going to it's going to uh, that's interesting. This is again a general reading for whenever you come to it. And we'll see where you are at. So, monkey people, your central issue is represented here by Kaunas. Kaunas is the rune of the fire. It's anything that has to start that starts small and expands. So it's like basically a rune of expansion. Um, maybe where you're at, something something did start small and is sort of growing at this point. Like something is expanding in your life. Um, I've also seen Kaunas referred to as a like a creation, like a creation rune where you started something that you've been creating and it's sort of expanding. I don't usually use that reading, but I'm sort of seeing it here a little bit. A lot, actually. So <laughs> what led up to this is we have uh, Hagalaz, which is the uh, rune of the hailstorm. It's basically chaos, uh, natural forces, wild energies. But you've been coming through just this chaotic time, and at this point you've sort of started something that you're letting grow and that is growing. And what helps is you are going to be really feeling like you want this to just turn into a blaze like right away but it doesn't work like that it's like cooking it's like if you're making soup and you're waiting for it to boil it's the whole watched pot thing but what helps is <laughs> that you are being patient with it we have uh, ivaz ivaz is the yew tree rune it has to do with patience and slow growth and you are fully fully willing to be patient with this you are happy about this and in seeing the thing grow and expand um, and watching the slow growth of it and being very careful with the, gro the slow growth and development with it um, just being being confident that this is going to actually lead to where you're going because as soon as you see this you know that it will um, coming out of this chaos it's especially good but just like you are going to make this like you're just basically going to make this happen you're watching this happen and you are sort of savoring every moment as it happens and that's what's going to help you the most at this stage. What doesn't help is we have Pertho reversed. <clears throat> Pertho is the rune of the lot box. Uh, it has to do with surprises and small revelations but revelations of things that were already there. Um, could be inner revelations as well so you might be concerned about or things might, un un okay so a few things, unpleasant surprises could drag you down as they would with everybody, especially coming through where you've just had a whole bunch of chaos. But also, you're kind of worried about unpleasant surprises happening at this point. You've been through so much. Um, that might drag you down. Also, as you progress along, you're worried about something unexpected, but that was already a part of it popping up, a knot in the weave, so to speak. Um, at the same time, you're kind of also a little concerned about what you might find out about yourself as you do this, but that's not really, that doesn't have to be a concern. You are just really carefully, busily growing, not busily, but just like in earnest growing this, this, um, this development. And what this will lead to is actually a new journey for you. We have uh, Rytho, and Rytho is the rune of the journey. And it's like this, coming from chaos, you started this thing and it's sort of maybe it's even an awareness it could even be an awareness of things this whole thing and letting it grow and what it brings you to is this new journey that you're going to start so that's exciting monkey people i hope you enjoyed this reading and i will see you again next time bye hello rooster people so our next reading is for the rooster people in the lunar years. I'm going to throw down a splash reading. Once again, these are your readings whenever you come to them. Um, it's it's basically a general reading for whenever you come to it. Ooh, that's interesting. That is interesting. <laughs> okay, so rooster people, you have a central issue here of Gabo. Gabo is the rune of the gift. Um, gift in the ancient Norse was always an exchange. Um, so it's basically 
that, but also um, Gabo has to do with decisions and agreements and goals. So it looks like you have set an, a, a goal at this point. You've sort of made an agreement with yourself or with one other person, um, but it's basically you just you have this plan, like this this goal in, in mind. What led up to this is we have Othala reversed. Othala is the run of the homeland. Reversed it has to do with letting go of things that no longer serve you. Um, it also could be that recently you've been sort of uh, unseated from your comfort zone and so in order to work on that, in order to deal with that, you've sort of made a decision. You've made a decision, you made a goal, um, sort of an agreement with yourself or perhaps with one other since it does have to do with one-on-one -on -one sometimes. Um, and that's where you're at now. So what helps the most is we have Kanaz reversed. Kanaz is the rune of fire. It's a rune of expansion, but reversed it has to do with bringing your focus in, like narrowing your focus. And that's what's going to help you the most. It's like you've made this decision, you've got this goal in mind, focus, like just focus on this, like bring your focus on this. And that's what's gonna help you the most. You know, you've already been through this part where whether or not being unseated from your comfort zone is a part of it, you've been letting go of things that no longer serve you. And that's really led you to this point where you are fine and you are less cluttered and you are able to focus, focus, focus on um, this goal that you have. What doesn't help is we have Yira. Yira is the rune of the harvest. It has to do also with time. It's like you're worried things are passing you by um, while you're focusing on this. The whole... Um, what is it? What is it? Uh, FOMO. The FOMO thing. <laughs> the fear of missing out. You're, you're worried that, that everything is going to pass you by while you're working on this. This is, this is part of your story. This is very, very important. And nothing is going to pass you by that, y that you needed. I'm telling you right now, this is basically saying, well, the runes are saying, don't worry about this. Like, it's, this is what's going to drag you down. This is going to distract you from your focus more than anything else is the, the whole FOMO thing. Uh, fear of missing out. So, yes, things are going to go on without you while you're working on this, and that is fine. This is, this is not for you at the moment. Just basically focus, focus, focus on what you've decided on and what you've agreed to and what you've put as your goal. And this will bring you to, we have uh, Isa. Isa is the rune of ice, has to do with standstill, but also clarity. Um, Again, this is a really nice path of you let go of things that you that no longer serve you, you focused on this new goal, and you have even more clarity at this point, um, and even less need to run around because this is basically stillness at this point. Maybe it's you've stopped at this point and gone, okay, <laughs> you can take a moment and, and get that clarity. But that's basically your next step on the path, and that is your reading, Rooster People. I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye! So the next sign I am going to be reading are for the dog people. Hello dog people! I am a dog people too, so this will also be for me, which is kind of interesting. Oops, this one jumped out, so I always take jump outs. <laughs> I know some people don't, I always do. Um, so let's see what the runes have to say for the dog people. Year of the dog people. So your central issue is Kaunas. Kaunas is the rune of ex expansion. It's the rune of fire, uh, something that starts small and, and expands. Um, what led up to this is you have had such a challenging time leading up to this. Like you have been, this, there has been a challenge that you have just gotten through that you didn't think was possible to get through. And here you are, you're on the other side of it and you're free of it. You've, you've gotten through it, you did it. And so now you're in this situation where you're feeling like you can open up again and that, that's a concern because you're a little bit worried about that. So what helps in this case is we have Gabo. Gabo is the rune of the gift. It has to do with the ex it's an exchange. Um, it has to do with sometimes one-on-one -on -one relationships. Um, mostly though I've, I've, I've seen this have to do with an agreement or a decision uh, and a goal. Like So you're basically going to want to have a plan. If you're going to be expanding again, if you're going to be opening up again, you want to have a plan. You want to make sure that you have an agreement about how this is going to, how this is going to go down. <laughs> now what doesn't help is you don't want to go crazy with this. You are going to be very, very tempted, and I know I'm a big warrior and probably many dogs are, um, 
we have Nalthes reversed. Nalthes is all about tending your needs, and that's fine. Um, you're going to be very much drawn to that. You've, you've probably had a lot of that coming through this challenge, but you're going to be just like compulsively um, tempted to be constantly, constantly running around, making sure the rigging's in place, making sure like five times that the oven is off, you know, that kind of thing, like the, to like a compulsive level. And that's going to drag you down because right now you want to open out, you know, you, your oven's off, take a picture of it if you want to prove it to yourself later when you want to go and check. <laughs> so bring yourself back to your plan, bring yourself back to your agreement, your decision that you're going to do this. And what this will lead to is we have Yura. Yura is the rune of the harvest. Um, it also has to do with time, but I'm really seeing this more as, you know, getting out there, focusing on your harvest, fo focusing on bringing things through, focusing on making the most of the time that is left. So that dog people is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye. So the next reading I am going to be doing is for the pig people, the boar people, however you want to be referred to, pig or boar, it's all good. Um, I'm going to throw down a little splash reading for the pig people and we are going to see, oh, that's appropriate, that's appropriate <laughs> pig people. Um, little splash reading, we're going to see where you're at. Uh, again, this is a general reading, so it's for whenever you find this video. So your central issue, pig people or boar people, is we have Othala. Othala is the rune of the, rune of the home and the homeland. Again, as I said, extremely applicable for pig or boar people because you're very, very home oriented and very comfort oriented. Um, what led up to this is we have Uruz reversed. Uruz is the rune of the wild ox, has to do with strength and health. It is reversed, so it says to me that maybe you've come through a period of time where you were very, very concerned about health. Maybe you weren't as healthy as you wanted to be. Maybe you weren't as strong as you wanted to be. Um, maybe you've just felt like you've been knocked off your feet. But right now, you're in a situation where you're thinking about home, you're thinking about your home um, state of being, your, you know, basically your, your comfort zone, your home, your, your home, homeland home. And that's your basic focus, focus at the moment. What will help you the most in this moment is we have Lagus. Lagus is the rune of the lake. It has to do with emotion and intuition and heart. So really, really, it's like home is where the heart is. Um, get in touch with your heart. You can find home wherever you are, is what this is basically saying. So you can carry it with you. And, and basically focus on heart. What what does your heart love? Where is your heart home? And that's basically going to be your best focus on getting home to be around you wherever you go. What doesn't help is we have Kaunas. Uh, Kaunas, Kaunas reversed. Kaunas is the rune of expansion and fire. Reversed it has to do with, if it was on the path line or the upper line, I would say narrowing a focus, um, you know, hard, hard focus basically, things coming to a point. In the lower line, I'm going to say that you're going to kind of be concerned about your options narrowing. Um, you're sort of worried about putting too much focus on this as well, because right now, wh whenever you're seeing this, things are sort of, well, no, you're actually, you're focusing on home. So you, this is not so much um, narrowing a focus. So maybe this is more like, because um, your heart is big. You got a big, 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 big heart pig people. I know this. <laughs> Just like big hearted people. And you really love home and you really love comfort and just f focus on that and don't scrimp on this. You know, you, if you think, oh, well, this is my heart's desire and you go, well, yeah, but don't, well, yeah, but your own heart, pig people, just do it. Focus on your heart. Love big. <laughs> Relax big. Be comforted big. And, and don't narrow this. Don't scrimp. On that. This is, you know, this is your comfort. This is the most important, one of the most important things for you. And what this will lead to is we have Isa. Isa is the rune of ice. It has to do with uh, stillness, but also clarity. And this will actually bring you to a point where you're going to be very comfortable and things are going to be very, very clear in your state of stillness. And that is your reading, pig people. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye!